Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at Giants Training Camp, day 10, with wide receiver Anthony Dabble from Grenoble, 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 yeah. France. Yeah. Got it right, yeah. right. Got it. <laughs> now, Anthony, I saw you out here in minicamp. You know, going, it was maybe 90 guys out here going yeah. through the ropes, going through the motions, and now you're out here at training camp. Seems like the game has slowed down for you. What transition have you had to make from minicamp to now, or how has this transition been for you? Really, like coming in, the big difference was um, not being that much on the field, but really much in the meeting room to get like everything right. So then, when you go on the field, you really like you just play. You don't think that much. So really, the the transition in the mini camp, I had to learn the playbook and learn the calls and uh, uh, be aware of the defense and know when I, we, we we can change uh, the routes and everything and um, get the signals down. So now that I got this down, now I can really start to play at my speed and I think it shows up because I'm making uh, more plays now that I, that I did in mini camp. So. Yeah, you, had, you made a lot of plays out there today, you know, as far as like in the red zone, uh, returning kicks, you were making some plays. Even just in the individual drills, you look a lot smoother. When you look at the game here compared to where you played over in Europe, what are some of the minor differences you see in the speed or the, the execution of it? I would say the difference is in how you get coached because mm -hmm. I really didn't, never got coached this way. And uh, the time we spent in the meeting room, to get everything fixed so when you go out there like it's like you had like already like a thousand reps and you just go out there and you just do the stuff right because you know about it and everything is filmed so every drill we're doing everything is real even like uh, catching the football at the end of practice that is filmed too so really the time like in the film room getting things right that's 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 how you really you get faster on now, the field. Now we have a mutual connection here. Yeah. My old college teammate, your former teammate yeah. out over in Europe, uh, Willie Robinson, who coached yeah. at the Lubeck Cougars yeah. in Germany, he told me about you two years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see you out here now getting an opportunity. So biggest question I want to know is how many other Anthony Dablays are there over there, uh, Just not just in France, but just in Europe, football in general? I think um, I would love to say that is a, a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not a scout, so I don't. I don't really know. And I know that's like good players. You just go over like and watch the stats on in the GFL because mm -hmm. to me that's the best league in Europe. And uh, just go and see the stats because like to be good in GFL, it's not that easy. If you dominate over there, you must have a chance to, uh, to come here and somebody get a look at you. So I think there's a lot of players because like they they were like um, comparing um, the GFL to a low college. Um, uh, level. level, but then you have a lot of people that didn't play college and will get to the NFL or like low, like low college, and then still make it to the NFL. So they really got to take a look over there. If they want to make the game international, they mm -hmm. got to, because there are some people that they they over there and they don't play for money. They play because they love the game and they want to be the best and they want to compete. Because that's what I was doing, and I know there's a lot of players like that. Now you Not mentioned just me, Moritz, and me. So right, and, and you mentioned the, the competition part of it. I think. Uh, I don't know if you agree with me, but do you think this game can ultimately be in the Olympics? Why not? But if it's like, um, if it's like the, um, how you say that? If it's like the basketball team, <laughs> if you get like Antonio Brown and Rudy Jones right, on the exactly. other side, and then, I don't know, <laughs> that'll be different. But like, yeah, why not? Because there's, there was already a World Cup, played in the World Cup last year. And uh, yeah, that's definitely... And still, like we had the World Cup, but there no, no really nobody like coming in and right. look at it. So you really gotta come and see those people that really play for the love of the game, and they they trying to get coached like how they can, just like me, like watching every video that I could about the NFL, about college football, and everything. Because people love the game so much, because they're trying to coach themselves right. to be better, because they love that game. But well, we definitely wish you the best of luck moving forward, man. Hey, thank you very much. No thank you for having me. Anytime, man. <laughs>